Hello guys and welcome to Northgard with Mic Drop. After finishing videos with all the clans from the basic game, it is now time for the first clan of the DLCs and that is the Snake Clan. This this clan is very fun to play with. You start with your hero that uh, gets stronger and stronger for every year and in year it starts out at at the age of 16 and after two years you get the Scorthus Earth that where you can see it will get some uh, it gets some uh, bonuses to your own villager uh, to your own military units and your towers if you are defending the tile or if you are attacking that is uh, reducing 50% of the production so yeah in the burn zone you have a huge advantage with your military units against the opponents but with this clan it's uh, <coughs> you can you can go in stealth mode so you don't have to actually kill all the npcs in between you and your opponents if you have a little patient then you can eventually just go there um, uh, without the the opponent coming back at you because they have to clear all the tiles in between also this under pressure gives you some uh, bonuses when you have a skirmisher uh, skirmisher uh, close to the opponent's areas as well it has to be either in the area or next to it's not possible to go into the area without them attacking you so stay out of there uh, but stay in a tile next to your opponent and then you will get the bonuses so now we're only playing against one AI but if you play let's say two 2v2 two or 3v3 three three, then it's possible to actually get uh, this bonus times two or three um, depends on how many you are playing against also this one over here gives you some happiness for ruins and shipwrecks so if you are lucky that you get a map with a lot of ruins and shipwrecks then it's very good to go for this one as well also you have the guerrilla tactic where you get a lot of extra damage for your Military units depends on how many villagers or civilians from the opponent that you have killed and you can see you can get up to maximum 30% extra damage plus you also get 20% extra damage for your skirmishers and uh, other military units attack power with 10% as well so this one is also a very very nice skill 3 but more of that when we get there now I have to colonize an area and get a quickly get a house so we're not here we got three free ships so let's get a house built so it's very important to get <coughs> get your scout out to find the opponents as soon as possible uh, right now we need to colonize this and we can also colonize oh, we already colonized here so let's get the house built that was me talking a little bit too much instead of paying attention but that means that we now have some resources to just build but again get the harbor done so we can get some lore and gold and I think for this map I don't f see that many ruins so we should maybe just go for the uh, the under pressure the military so we can get some f uh, happiness we already got our hero so we only need three of these lore skills before we can get three happiness and also one happiness for every upgraded military building <coughs> right here we got some stones so let's get those because then we can start upgrading and upgrade our scouts and get to our opponents 
because as soon as we find uh, the other players then we can start to have some skirmishes and get those passive income the more passive income you can get the better because then you can use your villagers for an, a lot of other things instead maybe here going for some gold and lore or maybe going for some wood and eventually we also need to make some military units but you can see here <coughs> um, also with this clan now I can't show you because we don't have the forge but the special relic uh, with this clan is that all your military units are stealthy um, that's a little bit different from PlayStation when you're playing on the on the PlayStation it's only your hero and uh, the relic on PlayStation makes sure choose a second military path after you choose the first one so you can actually have two so maybe conqueror and the tactical where your hero gets stronger if you want very aggressive one or you can go both with defensive and aggressive one but this relic is a little bit different with this uh, relic all your military units are stealth so they don't have to clear out all the mobs in between you and and your opponent so let's see if we can find the other clan right now it's a little bit difficult to guess where they are it's a quite strange map a map <coughs> so get some stones upgrades uh, also maybe where we got some iron here we got our hero so we can take out that single wolf before it attacks us and maybe to begin yeah we need we need that happiness so let's take the under pressure already and we can colonize this area and down here we also have some wolves so maybe we should just take our hero down here to protect that area So right now all we want to do is get our town hall upgraded <coughs> and the scout camp so we can go and find out where Red is hiding. As long as we are still positive then there is no need to take the scout back. But maybe we should uh, build another house. The previous video was about the Borg clan where you don't have to think so much about houses because you get two more population every time you actually colonize a new area. So now we have to be aware of the houses again. So yeah, right now it's just about getting some resources, get some stones going, so we can upgrade the town hall, that takes a while. We need some gold, we got enough gold right now, we just need the wood and the food. That's the good thing about the snake clan, is that you don't have to think about iron and gold to get your hero in the beginning. And also the hero only cost 150 crowns and no stones to get back. Should take some of the miners, go back here so we are still positive. And maybe the other miner as well. We got 10, 10 stones for the upgrade so we can always get stones later. Right now we just want to keep a positive income on our resources so wait 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 that is all about as soon as we get the hundred wood we can upgrade <coughs> so right now we 
this is the uh, video with the snake clan the first clan in the DLCs if you haven't checked out my other videos yet then go and check I made seven videos so far this is the eighth the other videos are about the clans from the basic game and the first one is the very basic uh, basics of this game so if you are completely new to the game then uh, or haven't got it yet or just want to check it out before you get it then you should definitely go and watch that video about all the basics and also the other videos because they will give you a good view on the different clans in this game and I show some of my ways to play with the different clans there are different ways of course and every map is generated uh, randomly and new for every game so you can never go with exactly the same tactic but of course a lot of the basics for every clan is is the same no matter what and with this clan it's about finding your opponent and start the under pressure so you can get some um, so you can get some passive income and also know where they are because your skirmishers they don't have they can actually go stealth mode and don't have to clear out all these tiles between you and the opponent so that's a quite good uh, advantage that you can start attacking the opponent before they attack you and if if you're gonna lose your uh, all your military units there's a long time before uh, actually the opponent will counter attack because they have to clear all the tiles between you and and him or she so and with this clan you can also build the relic you can see now we got a new age and we got to the age of 16 so my mistake from in the beginning I I said that our hero were already 16 but it was wrong um, so you start out at 15 and then after three years you will get the scorted earth so right now we are 16 and we got a little bit more health and also now our hero moves faster and can now attack at ranged instead <coughs> let's see if our hero can or not our hero our scout so we got red up here so let's take back the scout until we are upgraded upgrade now and get some more stone to upgrade and we are still again if you uh, if you've been watching some of my other videos you will notice that it's very rare that i built i built uh, build food food uh, buildings as you can still uh, see we are still positive 15 even without any food buildings at all because we have so many villagers and maybe we should start building a, another woodcutter lot so we can get some wood going on and the gold is also going well because we got a long ship dock very very quickly so we got two sailors on and we have the plus uh, 15 in our lower income so maybe that's a tip you can try on your own uh, not building so many uh, so many food areas or food buildings because they will just cost wood and of course they will increase your food income but in the beginning you can only have maximum 500 anyway and we have 240 now and we are still positive 11 even though we have two miners going on we got a builder here we got two ship uh, two sailors so uh, and we are still good on the food so yeah now it's done let's get two more still positive nine and the wood is going up now it's also a good thing now we're positive 14 that means we could actually get a trading post going on and then trade wood and then we would come down to 
positive 8 and, and increase our income with 3. But right now it's all about getting those stones going on. Let's upgrade our scout camp and maybe take two, two villagers so we are still positive on the food. We could actually organize a feast so we get some bonuses in the wood. And let's get those scouts up there. Because we know that red is here. So we can actually put a skirmisher in this area and then we will get some positive income. So now it's time to build this skirmisher camp. That's a good thing. You can wait a little bit. Uh, with building your military camp because you start with your hero so all the wolves that you want to clear out in the beginning you can just do with your hero and then you can wait and now we get the feeling safe also the guerrilla tactic is very nice just built and we already got our hero down here so it doesn't matter but when you have the skirmishes you can always go in and you can irritate uh, the the opponent maybe if you are lucky and he's not fast enough to pull the villagers out then you can get take out some of his villagers and just run back again with your skirmishes so it's a very annoying clan to play against with if they know how to play the uh, how to play this clan right fully let's get another house going again always have to be aware especially when we have so much happiness always be aware of having those uh, houses ready and you can see this is a food area so it's a very nice place to go in and irritate he will be negative on food while getting attacked by us um, so let's get another skirmisher building so we can have four but right now we just take one of them to become a skirmisher maybe two so we can that was a woodcutter it doesn't matter and you can see our hero doesn't cost any iron if she should go on and die and as you can see here our skirmishers they don't get attacked by the bear they don't get attacked by the wolves they just run right through it and the scouts they haven't found the main base yet but let's see now it's only woodcutters so let's go in and take them out oh that's a warrior actually or is it a woodcutter it's a warrior and let's get let's get out again let's get out so we got one and as you can see here the guerrilla tactic uh, ah, it has to be it has to be uh, no any unit slain or lost in any enemy territory or oh, maybe we have to get that before it starts on the PlayStation it will just start counting and then eventually when you reach the maximum then you can get then you can uh, get it and then you will have then you will benefit from the bonuses um, let's get a healers hut so we can get our people healed at the moment So up here you can see under pressure now we have one happiness because we have one standing right here. And our scouts are done. We are playing against the Ox Clan so that means they are quite slow. They can only have one, one villager attached to each building but more of that when we get to that video about the Ox Clan. In this map we have the Tundra map, that means once in a while we got the frozen sea. That means we have to get our 
sailors home before otherwise they will just freeze in the water they won't die or anything but then we just have two villagers not doing anything good uh, while this event is going on so it's better just to take them home and let them gather some food instead during the winter and let's do it right now just to be sure because it could be that they are out too long now we'll get a little bit down on our crowns but we still got plenty we got enough for that and let's build a forge or uh, let's take these iron first and then we can build the forge afterwards uh, still positive 19 because we got 13 villagers got enough happiness so no need to build a brewery yet maybe take the skirmisher home and get another skirmisher so he can be healed so another skirmisher up here and we have the fur coat so we could actually also go and let's see if it changed something if we take this one and now it turns green in the zero so maybe we actually needed that before And where's the last one? Didn't we just assign one more? Ah, now we got three of them. And let's see if we can take out. Got a woodcutter here, not so much health. And then one villager and a law master. I don't know why they haven't attached anything, anyone to the fisherman hut, but maybe it's because it's an AI and it's on low again the reason why I'm playing on low is to have some better time to show you guys uh, the different things and it's not so important that uh, we're not playing against a another player or a pro or something this is just to give you guys some some good uh, tips and guidelines to how I like to play with this clan and you can see right now they just kill the villagers very quickly and in our law 3 we now got 2% more damage and hopefully we can take out some more here's a warrior make sure that not die And now we are crunched. Uh, we have too much food, even though we don't have any food areas. So let's make a feast. Start the food silo. And now we can use all of our villagers to do something else. And we already got this. And now we can take out some more villages. Ah, uh, let's go. Ah, they died. But we got plenty of food. Uh, wood. Uh, sorry, we got plenty of gold, and now our hero can also go through neutral areas without getting attacked. So let's get them up here, and let's get some villagers back to the oh, back to the to the harbor become sailors and now we just need the last iron for our relic
and we actually need some more space here for the forge so maybe we should take out this pair yeah I could I could just go in now and and end it for red but I want to show you guys uh, the relic and uh, upgrade upgrade the skirmishes in the forge as well because then they will they will get the poison poison ability as well which is, which is very nice that just slows them down and of course makes some damage over time so now these just need to be healed and here we can build our forge so hopefully this will give you uh, this will give you a good idea how the snake clan is working of course we don't have that much time before we reach the opponent because it's a small map and it's against a uh, <coughs> low AI but still gives you a good good uh, feeling about getting getting scouted quickly so you get the so you get the under pressure ability and normally if it would, was against maybe two more or something then I could have one skirmisher standing here getting some happiness and food and uh, then you can have a skirmisher standing three three places and get that kind of bonus three times amount so let's get the relic this is the relic unlock the stealth ability for all your military units and you can see all the others are just the uh, regular ones. So let's start building this. And we need some happiness as well. So maybe we should build a brewery as well for this clan because there's nothing else. There's no other places to get the happiness of course from ruins and shipwrecks. But we haven't found any of those and this is not the skill tree we were going for so let's build the brewery get some happiness going on uh, normally with snake clan if it's a longer game uh, especially on PlayStation now it's a little bit different here because we got the stealth mode for all all our military units but then normally I only prefer to have let's say we have a warband of 12 then I go for maybe two or three skirmishes and uh, the rest will be will be either normal warriors or x throwers um, because here you get the 10% extra damage for the other units as well and skirmishes they don't have that much health actually they do a lot of damage but you see they only got 50, 50 uh, in health and not that much resistance so take three of them when they're upgraded so you get so you get the the poison ability and then have some normal uh, normal warriors or egg throwers that gives more damage and the egg throwers can stand uh, on a distance skirmishes they are melee damager so you mix it up a little bit I I really uh, prefer to have maybe uh, three or four shield barriers and then you can have maybe let's say six egg throwers and three or four skirmishes and then you are very good to go you can also add some normal warriors as well uh, but you in with this one you don't get the bonuses for different 
different uh, military units. So tank with your shield barriers, do the DPS with your egg throwers and then make the poison with your skirmishers. skirmishers. That's a very very nice uh, way to go with your military units. Right now we are waiting for our relic to be done. So let's take out some more villagers from red over here. Right now we are 6% more damage. So we want to may, uh, end up killing 30 of his villagers. We also get some more military experience which we need. Uh, you can see here in our skirmishers will increase the decolonization speed with 50% for all the skirmishers you got and our axe throwers will get 30% attack range. Also here every time a unit dies in an enemy ter uh, territory friendly units in the area will gain 50% attack and 5% uh, attack and 5% defense for one month. So let's take that one. And we can take some more out. So right now, ah, oh, we got the extra military here. So maybe we should have waited with the legendary hero, but well, let's just take the defense. I don't think that red will come and attack us, but right now, why not? So he got his hero done. That's not a good thing because Ox Clan's hero is very, very strong. You can see here how much health he got. Uh, that was the warrior here. Got 100 health, 10 resistance, and a lot of damage compared to our own. See, 100, 10, and 15 plus 3. And we got 67. Uh, 12 and 20 so we got a little bit more damage than he does but definitely not so much resistant and health all we need now is just taking out villagers why he's not going in here again it's a stupid it's a stupid AI there he goes but right now we just let's go back and heal up a little bit and maybe we could upgrade our houses it also helps on the happiness right now we are maximum we don't have any under pressure under pressure so let's take a villager to become a skirmisher and go up and stand here And the food is still okay. We got plenty of food, but right now we are negative 14. And we can see how it changed a little bit when we got when we get the skirmisher up here. And now it went down to 13 instead of 14. Uh, the under pressure you gain half happiness and one food for each military units in a non-allied zone next to or with an enemy territory oh that means we can actually take more if we take all our skirmishes to this area we will get a lot of food and happiness and right now we could use another tile so this one, if we colonize that, we will gain some five, uh, five stones. So let's see if we can do that. And you can see our skirmishers, they die quite quickly if we're not aware. Colonize the area. 
let's get the sharp axis and now we get a blessing blessing let's take the happiness blessing so we get some more villagers quicker and we wanted to build the skirmisher camp and also let's build some we need the training camp now we just need to repair Uh, we got one more. Oh, we only got two. Ah, this one. <coughs> so, Relic is almost done. Then we can get all our military units stealthed. That means we can just go through instead of killing these wolves and these wolves. Then we can just go straight into our opponent. Come on, Relic. It doesn't say anything on the information. Down here we get 99%. And there we go. And we also got the Scorched Earth ability. So let's get the Relic and unlock the stealth ability for all our military units and let's get an extra in here so skirmishes they can now go over here and let's see how much then we're supposed to get two happiness and of course four food Yes, two happiness from under pressure and four food. That's also a little bit different from the PlayStation. On the PlayStation, you only get two happiness, and that's maximum you can get. It doesn't matter. So you only have one military unit standing there. And the extras are ready. Now we are maxed out on popularity, so let's upgrade another house. That's the most, that's the quickest to get some more. And then let's build some egg throwers as well and get going. So now I think I showed you guys. The best of it, you can also go for the stolen lore, but I only see that that's uh, as a benefit if you if you play on some other victory conditions. Uh, the, all my videos I only play on the uh, on the domination only victory condition. Oh, now they don't have the stealth ability, and why don't they do that? Why don't they have the stealth ability? Stealth enemy defense towers. Ah, I won't attack stealth units for five seconds. Okay, I thought that uh, they could go through these areas, but no, they couldn't. So we have to take out the wolves. And let's uh, let's heal them up. They need to be healed. Uh, we could heal up, uh, upgrade our Healer's Hut? Nah. How many do we have? Five and the hero. Okay, so we actually need a little bit more gold, but we should be able to manage it. How much does another one? 40? We got 40. He's buying this area, so let's go and kill him. And as you can see, he's hitting very, very hard. He's a very strong hero. But we are able to get him. 
So we can colonize this area. And maybe we could get this one as well. So we are close to him. So let's slaughter a sheep. 250, we got enough for that. And we also get two sheep in here. It's perfect. And now we get plenty of happiness because we're standing next. You can see on our under pressure is giving us right now we don't have because so let's go in here and take out those villagers then we get some more damage right now we have 17 And then I can show you the score of Earth in the uh, in here, but I still think that we need some more some more uh, military units actually. So let's get a trading post going on so we can get some faster gold. That was because we waited a little bit, so I could show you guys uh, the relic. Otherwise, we could have taken him out way uh, way early, of course. And now we get the under pressure again because we're standing next to the area. So let's get these guys in here and get healed up. He can stay. Hero can stay. So it's the cloak I was thinking about. Not a wolf and the spectral warriors. Uh, I really want to upgrade the healer's hut. But right now we need some gold instead. You can upgrade that one. You can attach one more villager. And maybe also pop a feast. So we really get a lot of gold. So right now we got a lot of happiness and popularity. That means we get a new villager every 29 days. So, <clears throat> so we can build a house up here. And now we're just waiting for our military units to heal up. Now we're a little bit low on food. So let's get a woodcutter into the house and become a villager. So our military units are all healed up and <coughs> let's go in here and make the scalded earth in here whoop, 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 whoop. 
so and then you can see how quickly we start to kill the others let's be careful with the hero don't lose the hero and that should do it how much did we reach in our guerrilla tactic we have reached the maximum so now we give 30 percent extra and also it's 20% uh, for the skirmishes over here that's 50% and if we manage to upgrade them in our forge uh, you can see here then decrease targets attack speed and move speed for 20% for t uh, 2 seconds that's the poison and also uh, get 20% extra damage so you can see you can really really build up your skirmishes to do a lot of damage we have 20% here 20% in the under pressure that's 40 and then 30 from this one so that's 70% extra and with the um ah now i couldn't see it here let's say keep playing and we can see here with the veteran uh, our skirmishes will increase so you can get up to 70% extra damage <clears throat> let's see 20 30 and from here as well uh, so that's 50 and then 20 here that's 70 and if you also upgrade every skirmisher camp then they will get five percent as well so let's say you have four four buildings you upgrade all four that's 20 more so you can get them to become 90 percent more damage Thank you so much for watching. This was the uh, clan of snakes. Uh, yo, clan of snakes. And uh, yeah, with this clan, it's all about getting your opponent scouted quickly so you can get the under pressure. You can see how much uh, you benefit from this, having your skirmishes standing in the area next to, and they can't go in and attack them because normally you just stand in an area with wolves or drogas or maybe a bear so and then you can just stand and have some free happiness and food income and also the, with this one the relic again there are some things a little bit differently from the playstation to the computer uh, this one is i'm playing on the computer so i'm not that used to the different bonuses but it's almost the same but with this one you get the stealth ability and i thought that there was the cloric uh, cloak ability but it turned out to be that uh, the defense tower they don't they won't attack your stealth units for five seconds so it's a nice uh, nice small bonus in the beginning to attack some of the villagers uh, without getting attacked from the from the defense tower and then hopefully you can kill the uh, the military units first and then go straight to the defense tower afterwards and also this Scorthus Earth is very very nice to overtake an area. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment. I can use all the feedback I can get from you guys. Uh, because then I can also improve. So please let me know what I'm doing good, what I'm doing bad. And what you think that I could do better. Or maybe if you have some questions about the game itself or why I choose to do or play as I do please let me know in the comments and I will reply uh, as quickly as possible so this was Northgard with mic drop I'm going to drop the mic thank you